Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, we're going to go over the NHL Central Scouting preliminary list for the 2024 NHL Draft. We'll talk about some of the key players on this list and some players that might have gotten a low ball grade. So we'll break it down a bit and have some fun with this list. And if you want to see some of the players early look videos, I have that. Just go to the homepage on NHL Draft Pros on YouTube. And as always, please subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get the channel growing. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so the NHL Central Scouting, their preliminary players to watch list has a grading system. And I'm going to show you how this works right now. So as you can see, an A rated player indicates a first round candidate. B is second and third round candidate. C, fourth and fifth. And then watch list or W rating is sixth or seventh round candidate. And also there's a, well, there's one player in particular that they left off that I thought should have been on the list. So we'll get into that later on in the video. All right. So some of the players on this list, obviously one of the big ones is Macklin Celebrini in the A division first rounders. If you look at this list here, Berkeley Catton, Trevor Connolly, Chernyshev, Demidov, Dickinson, Iserman. But the first one is Macklin Celebrini, my first ranked player right now. And if you look at last year's Stats, look at this, 86 points in 50 games in the USHL. He was a USHL Player of the Year, USHL First All-Star Team, USHL Most Points, and USHL Forward of the Year. Pretty much won it all. And you'll see why in these videos right now. So this clip here is against Notre Dame, and I was actually at this game, and when he scored this goal, the crowd was like, what, did that just happen? Yeah, I kind of silenced them, and uh, but they were also kind of, you know, Surprised at that skill, and they showed the replay at the on the uh, videotron there, and everyone was like, "Oh wow, this kid's actually pretty good, eh?" So yeah, so it was nice to see this live. And like I said, he's got that skill. He's you know intelligent, works hard, two hundred foot player. He's going to be a good one. All right, the second one on the list is Cole Eiserman that I want to talk to in the A rating division. So he's another. Well, he's kind of a different player. He's more of a shooter, and he had last year sixty nine goals in sixty two games for the national development program. Uh, he had the most goals at the as a U of 17, 69, and most goals at the U18 World Juniors on his team's nine goals. So he can shoot a puck, and you're going to see he's going to bury some pucks real quick. So this clip here against Utica, you're going to see he's going to take off. And just want some wheels here and then watch this release. <laughs> that is just a nice, quick release. Like even the goalie, he's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie right now, right? And the goalie knows he's going to shoot, and he pretty much just beats him straight up. All right, the second one on the list, or the third one, sorry, on the list is Ivan Demidov. So he's another one that should go top five in this year's draft, and he's got a lot of skill, big skill set. Last year he had 64 points in 44 games in the MHL, the Russian Junior League. And you're going to see that the one thing that stands out with Demidov is that he's got some slick mitts. He can, look at that, look at that, and then the shot. Wow. So, yeah, he's got some pretty filthy moves. Uh, he's pretty slick, like I said. Really good edge work on his skates. But, yeah, he's got some nice skill. All right, so here's the rest of that list. We got a few players here. Some standouts. Consta Hellenius, I, I like a lot. Adam Yurchak. Artyom Levshanov is a pretty nice player. Zane Perek in Saginaw. And then continue on here, Ryder Ritchie. Uh, one surprise on this list, and if you look at it, Matvey Shurovin, big D, 6'3", plays in the Russia Junior League. Not a big offensive dynamo. Last year had five points in 27 games in the MHL. This year has two points in 11 games in the MHL, but he also has two points in the KHL. So we're going to show some clips of Shurovin here. And so you're going to see him take the puck up here. And then he's going to dish it off there. So nice little skate with the puck. It's a little rush. He doesn't mind to rush the uh, rush with it there. And then dishes it off to the side there. So that's a nice little pass, nice little goal. So maybe some offensive upside. Early, early to see. All right, moving on. We got Cole Hudson, the brother of Lane Hudson that was drafted by Montreal. Now he's a little bit taller in his draft year, 5'10". Lane was like 5'8 in his draft year. And you're going to see in a minute with the clips that he's got some same the same skill set basically 68 points in 61 games last year most points by a d in the ntdp he had most points on the world junior team as u18 world junior team and he was a u18 world all-star 
So his stick handling, his maneuverability with the puck is the one thing that stands out with Cole Hudson. So you're going to see, look at this, just kind of make some moves here. And uh, yeah, and then they get the uh, rebound there. But it all starts with him, with his his maneuverability with that, you know, stick handling, nice stick handling and not afraid to attack the net there. So Cole Hudson. And the one thing is it's surprising that they got him as a B-rated player. I mean, I, you know what? Defensively, he's a little bit of a liability, but I'm sure that because of the defensive upside, I want to give him a little bit more room there. But anyways, all right. Another player who's on the B-list is Michael Haig. He plays for Chicago in the USHL. Now, the problem with him is that injuries have hampered him in the last couple of years, so he potentially could be an A-rated player. Depends how the rest of the season plays out, but look at this. So last year, only played 13 games, 10 points, so almost a point a game. This year, he's already got seven points in eight games, so point a game player in the USHL as a 17-year-old is not bad at all. So we're going to show some highlights with Michael Haig. He is going to receive the puck. That's him right at the bottom there, and a nice little dish there. So you see that? nice heads up play there he waited just a second dished it off and then they end up burying it so you'll see it better at this angle right here so he gets it right here and then nice little pass look at that wow so he's got some nice offensive skill set okay moving on we're getting into the c rated players uh so the one that i got highlighted here is aiden park shaddock st mary's prep school in minnesota there and uh, he's like 6'1 185 184 yep and check out these numbers last year he had 82 points in 53 games. This year, he's off to a tear. 26 points in 16 games. He is a University of Michigan commit. And so some clips that we saw him is at the Halinka Gretzky Cup there. And you can see that he's at the bottom there in that little rush. Hey, eh? He joined the rush there and then nice little finish on that play. You're going to see up uh, close up here. So he's got some uh, good wheels. I'd say a little bit not physical, Got to work on his physicality a little bit more. Use his size. He's a pretty big kid, but anyways, got some good skating. All right, another player that might have been a B player, Justin Poitier. Plays in Baycomo. He's a little bit smaller, though, 5'7 and a quarter. 185 they got him listed at, but look at the numbers. So last year, he almost was a point-of-game player, 48 points in 55 games. And this year, point of, point of game almost for Baycomo. Like I said, the one thing that stands out with him, he's got that offensive upside, right? He's got a pretty nice shot, passes the puck well. Uh, I think that the size is hurting him a little bit. Pretty good worker, too. Got some nice compete. So there's some positives in, the game, in his game, I guess you could say. All right, another one now that are on the watch list, Oscar Voile. And he is he plays in Sweden and is 5'10", 172. Now look at these points. Last year had 49 points in 45 games in the U20 Junior League in Sweden. This year, 13 and 12. So he's putting up some decent numbers at the junior level in Sweden. And we're going to show a couple clips here. So in this one here, you're going to see he's going to pick up the puck here. And look at this shot. Boom. Nice release. So he came in on this power play here. Picked out this puck and just nice dart there. Top cheese. Pop that towel off the top. All right, another player, and this was a big surprise, was Alexander Zetterberg. Again, smaller player, though. Plays in the Sweden Junior League. So they got him missed at 5'7". And last year had 34 points in 43 games. This year, 18 points in 15 games. So he's starting off pretty strong. And the one thing that I noticed, like I said on this list, is that the smaller players were kind of got dropped down. So this one here, look at that one timer. That's him at the bottom there. Nice little dish. And a nice little finish by Alexander Zetterberg. Okay, so the last one that's a surprise that was left completely off the list is this defenseman, Noel Franzen. And he plays in the Sweden, the U20 league. And look at the points. So last year he had 20 points in 15 games in the U18s. This year has 21 points in 17 games in the U20s in Sweden as a defenseman. So he's putting up some decent numbers already. And you're going to see he's got some... The, the one thing I think is he's a little too offensive minded he's kind of he cheats a lot and gets caught on odd men rushes so we're gonna have to fix that up for his defensive play but anyways and those are some of the players that i want to kind of speak out about on this nhl central scouting uh, preliminary list and if there's any players on the list that you think uh, that you'd like to talk about drop it in the comment section let's see you know what you think of the list i also have the list posted in the description below so take a look at that 
Let me know if there's any players that you think should have gone higher or lower or whatnot, and we'll discuss that. And as always, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Let's get this channel growing. I need more subscribers. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon, and cheers.